How's it going everybody? Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a two-year update uh, maintenance wash on my car over here, my Kia Stinger, that was coated with one layer of C Quartz UK 3.0 ceramic coating as the base layer, and then one layer of C Quartz SIC as the topper. Uh, it is a great combo. It's been a favorite since C, uh, C Quartz SIC was released. Um, and it's been it's been doing great now it has been two years so that insane water be beating has died down a bit um, the car is still clearly protected though you can see how the water behavior is and I'll show that um, but I am getting ready I want to polish it again and I'm gonna put a uh, different coating on after this uh, I'm gonna do a separate video about that so stay tuned for that uh, but I just wanted to give everybody an update to show how these coatings hold up after two years now keep in mind these are both only rated for 18 months and sorry, there's a neighbor's got a chicken and it's just, it won't shut up today. <laughs> um, anyways, so we're going to be washing the car. So we're going to pre-treat it with lift. Um, I was thinking about washing with reset, but I think I'm going to wash with descale just to decontaminate it. Um, that way it'll be good to go when I'm ready to coat it. And then uh, we'll dry it off with our CarPro dehydrate towel. Um, and to, for the foam cannon, we're going to be using the MJJC foam cannon S version 3.0. Oh, that chicken is annoying. Um, but yeah, we're going to get it uh, foamed up and everything, um, but let's take a look around the car first. I'll show you how dirty it is after the couple of rainstorms we've had. Um, and then we'll show you the water behavior. I need you guys to help my channel get huge so I can move into a quiet area without chickens. <laughs> Anyways, here's the car. So, you know, at first glance it doesn't look too dirty and that's just a, uh, you know, that's, that's the coating doing its job, but if we look up close, can see all the dirt that's collected on it from the rain. You gotta really look for it though, especially down here on the sides. So you can see how dirty the chrome is. Uh, I did just clean the wheels, those are good. Um, but yeah, pretty dirty. But only chicken. But the back especially very dirty, and the back's always gets it gets the worst of it, in my opinion. Uh, so we're going to foam it down, um, we're going to see how the foam helps to break down the dirt. Now keep in mind, CarPro Lift is not a touchless f foam. Some people get the wrong idea, they think it's supposed to take all the dirt off. It's not. It's supposed to loosen it up, take the heavy stuff off. So when you go in for a contact wash, it is, uh, you know, much less risk of marring and scratching your paint. But if we look back, the car actually don't look that dirty, does it? So that's the beauty of ceramic coatings, right? <laughs> Anyways, let me get the foam cannon filled up and uh, we'll get this thing foamed. Alright, and before we foam it, I just want to show the water behavior. So you can see, it's quickly shooting the water away. Now this is, the, the paint is dirty, so keep that in mind. And yeah, now I'm probably going to be further diluting the, uh, pre-wash but whatever so yeah the the crazy hydrophobics they're not there anymore and the paint is dirty of course we're gonna see how it cleans up how it looks after now the glass I stripped the coating on the glass and I put something else on there uh, but that's dirty too so let's get this foam down we'll wash it up and see how it does so we're going for a 10 to 1 dilution here so we got 500 milliliters of water we need approximately 50 milliliters of soap I should do it. It's half a foam cannon. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have anything to say about that. But uh, let's get it foamed down now.
All right, so we got a slight improvement in the water behavior there. See the water's faster to get off. The beads are starting to come back. Surface is obviously still contaminated. I had to put my dog inside, he's barking too much. Uh, I want to show you the back though, because the back again is where it's always the worst. You can see the water's still sticking there. So the water just don't want to even sheet away. Well, it kind of does. Yeah, it, it does. Okay, I lied. It does want to sheet away a little bit. Um, but we're going to get this whole thing washed up, and then we should see a difference, big difference, once the surface is actually clean and the coating is not uh, being impeded by surface contamination. All right, so we're going to get descale in the bucket. Um, now, descale, I wish, I, I don't know if they've updated the instructions. It says 1 to 100 for a bucket. Um, reload says... 1 to 500 or 1.3 at 5 ounces for 5 gallons. Now my bucket's a 3.5 gallon bucket. It's got roughly 3 gallons of water. So I'm going to go ahead and call that 2, 2.5 ounces. So we're going to use our nice little CarPro measuring cup. I don't keep these set up in here with the straw because as the heat rises and falls, it causes the liquid to siphon up and then it sits in here and dries out and it's getting gross. So uh, I decided to just use them as a measuring cup. So we're going to do two and a half ounces, about should be good. It's right around two and a half. We're going to get over to the bucket. We're going to dump it on in there. Throw my wash mitt in first. I use the CarPro Dab Dab wash mitt. I love this thing. It's like a marshmallow. Soap that in there. I'm gonna make sure there's no soap up in there. This isn't a super thick soap, so it dissolves pretty easily, which is nice. And we're gonna mix it in. As you see, descale foam is great. So we're gonna get to washing this car. Uh, also, what I like to do um, for my final wash stage, I turn on my deionized water. So I do have a video on this if you want to check it out on the channel. Um, but I've made my own little bypass here to switch between deionized water and regular water. So we got deionized water on now so we don't get water spots because I live in Texas. And water looks dry fast here. It's not hot yet, but still, I got hard water too, so I just don't want to risk it. Uh, but let's get to washing.
All right, so it's now clean. We're gonna make a final assessment. Check the hood. You can see towards the center, there's some better water beating. Uh, it is sheeting away faster. Um, again, it's not gonna be as good as day one, but the coating is still there. It's still uh, repelling water. There's nothing else on here. Last time I washed this car, I rinsed washed it. Uh, D-Scale will take anything off of a coating. Even if you use toppers, guys, um, <clears throat> if toppers don't have bare paint to bond to, the coating, they're not going to bond into the coating. You know, they'll just sit on top of the coating. So getting some good sheeting here slowly. Or sheeting away quickly there. Come over to the side. Again, the glass does not have the coating on it. The uh, Ryan West Industries glass coating. Which it is doing very good, especially after a few rainstorms, so pretty impressed with that stuff. Right here. Not bad. Let's check the side. So you see the water is still stuck in some places. It's sheeted away mostly. So you can see like right there, it just beads off quickly. Uh, it's more towards the center of the panels and really, so it's like behind the wheel, and these are the, the most obvious places. So the fender, behind the wheel, uh, this little vent, which is connected to there, so stuff shoots out of here. Um, and it kind of comes, kicks up on the back of the car here, because this part of the car is kind of wider and pokes out, so it collects a lot of crap from the road. Uh, so those are the most affected areas. We check this back quarter panel. You can see, because this part, it's like the car's got wide hips, that's all I can say. So that collects a lot of uh, dirt and debris, so that's sheeting away very slowly. But down here, easy. And on the back, the back is the most affected with this car. See the plastics down here are doing good. The bumper, the bumper's rough. Uh, with the trunk lid, or the hatch, I guess, because it's a hatchback, it's fine. Look at that. So, yeah, after two years, guys, I've got no complaints for a coating that's only rated for 18 months, and this this thing could keep going. Let's check the roof. Yeah, the roof you can see is sheeting away. So a lot of the strong beating is gone, um, but we still got sheeting in plenty of areas. We still got protection from the coating. So for a coating that's rated for 18 months that I use. Uh, 18 months that I use, uh, well, I drive the car daily, the rain, whatever weather that we get here in Texas, which you never know. I'm still holding up pretty good. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Um, now, if you put a topper on this, like Hydro 2, Reload 2.0, actually, let me grab them. I'll show you what you can use for toppers on this. So yeah, these are the toppers you can use. These are the toppers that I do use. Uh, Elixir, not really, but I use uh, Echo as a quick detailer. I don't use, I said Elixir, I do use Elixir, I don't use Release um, as a topper, but you can. If release is a really easy to use detailer. Um, it also has the benefit that you can apply it to a C-Quartz UK coating um, and then go ahead and throw the car outside without worrying about the elements damaging the coating. Um, but Release will wash away with one wash. It's not meant to be long term, but it's a nice quick detailer. Echo, again, will wash away with one wash. It's just meant to be a quick detailer and waterless wash. Uh, Elixir and Reload, these are uh, more robust, um, and then Hydro 2 Light and Hydro 2 Foam. Now, I do regularly apply toppers to my coatings, um, but because I was knew I was going to be doing this video, I, I held off on it for probably the last two months. So when you get to this point with your coating, you're going to be wanting to use a, cop, a, a copper, a topper, at least once a month, probably every wash. I would say um, these would be the easiest to use. These these you got to kind of wipe in, uh, but it all depends on how you like to do it. But um, that's that's going to be the final update on uh, the Seacourt's UK 3.0 plus SIC coating. So it uh, definitely met my expectations. I'm happy with it, um, but I'm going to be going with, I think, uh, DOI Details 8-year coating that is releasing soon. I've already got it, um, but we can't post anything until uh, the embargo lift, May 1st. Um, anyways... That's all I got for you guys. Now, if you want, if you want interested in any of these products, I'm gonna post links to CarPro US website um, with my link and discount code. You get ten, or excuse me, you get five percent off from them. Uh, you can get ten percent off through Detailed Image with my discount code. Detailed Image carries these products as well. 
um, or you can order from Amazon with no discount, but that still supports the channel, whatever. Um, <laughs> watching the video supports the channel, so I appreciate it. Um, but I will say, if you order from CarPro US, CarPro US gets fresh stock, okay? And then they send big batches out to Detail Image, Auto Geek, and all them. So sometimes they're sitting on stock for a while. Uh, so when you order from Detail Image and other sites, you, it, it can uh, it can be older. You know, it might already be a year old. You order from uh, CarPro US, it's more than likely going to be within the last six months, especially the ceramic coatings, because they're important. Those will go bad sooner than other products. Um, also, Detail Ground, you can order from Detail Ground. They also carry CarPro there in Florida as well, in Orlando. Um, you can get 10% off with them. But again, all those discounts are going to be listed below. I'm going to link directly to CarPro US website uh, with these products in this video. Um, and you can go ahead and purchase what you want. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I got to get this car dried off, but um, that's unimportant to the point of this video. I was just showing how it uh, does, how the coating has held up. Um, but I'll see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.